Uh, hello everyone, uh, Jeb from Jeb's Project. Now let's see what we have on the bench today. On the bench today, we have our amp. A 600 watt amp, got the boxes in, and now I'm trying to arrange everything in the box. The amplifier, this will be the front, and this is the back. The power wires, I'll put in a positive stud back here for my 50 volt and connect both my wires back here in the back. The coax for the output of the amp will come down into the input of the SWR bridge off the SWR bridge output <coughs> to the input of the low pass filter board come out of the low pass filter board to the antenna switch the uh, amp output at part of the antenna switch then the input to the amp will come off here over to the attenuator the antenna from or the port to from the radio will come through the back here and mount and solder on there. Well, I have my positive negative post for my 50 volt installed. Two uh, 50 volt wires running down to my board. And uh, oh, I've got my holes drilled. Oh, wrong direction. I've got my holes drilled for my dual end pen antenna ports off the antenna switchboard. This will be the X meter input, transmitter, going to the bo uh, relay board. And then of course my antenna one and antenna two to this point. Up here, uh, debating rather to put a, uh, a PTT out uh, there that uh, if the amps kicked in, then that PTT uh, will operate as well. Uh, the one from the transmitter uh, will be coming in on a control board, the PTT, uh, to run most everything. While this is in standby, at least it'll still keep running everything in standby. But if I put one in here, then it'll be controlled by the uh, amp control board. So I'm kind of debating whether I need it or not. But other than that, the uh, heat sink is mounted. I drilled, uh, cut my uh, hole or my vent back here. I know it's not pretty. I, I messed up there. But my heat vents or my air vents are coming out the back and uh, oh I got two screws going through the side into the heat sink to hold the amp in place so that should do the trick I'm waiting for some brass standoffs to hold my uh, old relay board it's uh, the standoffs I got I didn't realize they were plastic Okay, we've got uh, our antenna relay board mounted in with some um, brass standoffs. All I gotta do is run my uh, wire from here to here on each one of them. So as I have my antenna one and two, solder down my ground to the uh, connector ground. And I've got my SWR bridge mounted in with two brass standoffs and two plastic standoffs to keep it from tilting. The amp is mounted, got it sealed in here with some aluminum tape to seal up the air gap. Got my positive and negative 50 volt posts in place. And all I gotta do is just take my two power wires and uh, my 50 volt wires and just hook them in and uh, put 
nut on them and tighten them up and they'll be ready for the 50 volt. And I've got part of my coax in. The part that goes from the SWR bridge to the low pass filter. The low pass filter will be mounted up in here. Above above my antenna relay and above my bridge. I'm hoping that the RF from the low pass filter doesn't interfere with the bridge. It shouldn't, but <laughs> we say it shouldn't, but you never know. So we'll keep an eye on that. But uh, she's coming along. Got all three of my connectors in here for my PL 239s all in place. Now it's just a matter of running my coax and get the low pass filter board mounted. Okay, I've made some more progress. Got my ground wire in from my ground post. Goes right through, connects right straight to the heat spreader. Right down through the copper, down into the yellow one. Right nice and solid. Got my uh, input from the relay board here. For comes out right here for my transceiver down into the board here. Out of the relay board comes across, which I have some aluminum tape holding it against the heat sink. Up here to my attenuator. And of course, off my attenuator to the RF board. And I've got my two uh, connectors in for my two antennas from there down to the board. And uh, got the output from the amplifier going into the SWR bridge. Out of the SWR bridge, this is the part that will go over to the low pass filter. This way, if the low pass filter didn't get switched for some reason the SWRs will be through the roof and it'll tell my controller that uh, oh it's got high SWR shut it down so they, if it doesn't switch properly that way I also keep tabs of what that SWR is to the amplifier I still have to come off my antenna switch down here my antenna relays up to the low pass filter. I've got one stud in here, a standoff for my low pass filter. I've got to pick up some L brackets and uh, mount the low pass filter, hook the two coaxes up, and the RF deck will be done. That'll be nice when that's done. I'll show uh, the low pass filter mounting and hook up before I move on to the control unit. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe. And uh, catch you in the next one.